Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to talk about the broken AI in Civ 6 and what it needs to do to fix itself. And I don't even know if this is possible. I think part of the reason is because the amount of thinking that is required for this game would definitely put a strain on your computer. But the AI is broken. I think everyone knows that in every single civilization game, from one to six, the AI sucks. And I think the, the developers know this too, because if you look at the difficulty scale, so you you know you go from like, what is it, Nomad to Deity, one through eight. I think Nomad is actually technically zero, zero through eight. Um, all of the difficulties, except for four, which is medium, either buff the player yields or buff the AI yields. What I mean by that is, if you go difficulty four, nothing changes. If you go three, two, and one, you have buffs. If you go five, six, seven, and eight, the AI has buffs. And it shows that, I think that the devs know that the AI is broken. They probably do. Like, let's be real here. But the AI, like, what it needs to do, and it sucks that I have, that, this is the way that I can think of to fix it because it really is a hard solution. Like I'm thinking of how complicated, like I don't even know anything about AI, but I know how complicated it can be sometimes. Like it has to be able to think so far ahead and also understand at the same time how other civilizations are gonna be played. Let me explain. So let's say, we'll just make it easy. We're playing civilization and there's one AI that's a warlike civilization like Rome. Rome is usually always warlike, especially in an early game because of the legionaries. And then there's an AI that's playing Gandhi, who's very peaceful. Now, I think that the AI does a good job of attempting at least to use the buffs of another civilization to its advantage. Usually, like in Civ 6, usually Rome um, kind of expands big and because all the Rome it's their buffs and Usually Gandhi is very small because that's just seems how Gandhi is programmed at this point India is always usually a very small country and civilization but I Think that if Gandhi knew the Gandhi AI also when they met Rome they knew okay early game Rome is gonna try to kill me right because that's what Rome does with their legionaries so I need to build up, you know, the ability to defend against that and also go forward with my preset religious victory. And Rome goes, okay, Gandhi, he's peaceful, so his cities aren't going to be a threat to me, but he might build towards me. And I need to be able to biggest, build a strong enough force to beat him, and he's building defenses as we know it, right? Or something of that sort like the there's a the variable of like they know what they're gonna do now beyond that there needs to be added some variable where Rome you know and I, I think that this might actually frustrate players I think this is why this is happening because this would frustrate me I know I'm just as I'm saying this I know there's a part where sometimes the Rome AI doesn't attack early it does a different strategy it's a low probability but sometimes it happens and then maybe Gandhi has a 0.1% chance that he's going to declare war on someone or something like that, even though war, his buff is related to not being at war, right? Something of the sort. And I think that if the, that happens with the AI, um, it will kind of plan out stuff more. And it seems like the, it seems like the main problem is it doesn't have a very good plan. It seems like... The AI is too much of a reactionary AI. Now, with that being said, I do think that the AI in Civ 6 is getting better with war. War is something that it's getting better at. So I noticed that it tries not to attack over rivers, at least in my experience. It will sometimes do it if it's an important location. And it will kind of... It will use units that it likes to use, but it just seems like it doesn't... It's not like, okay, the horseman is at one health. 
you can send it to attack the pikemen or have it run away and heal. The AI will make it run away and heal unless it's a last resort. You know, so it's getting smarter with war, for sure. But like, let's say they're fighting a German player, right? Germany has the Hasana and it needs to be next to commercial hubs. So maybe the AI knows, okay, I need to hurt Germany. I can't take a city. Let's like send in cavalry to rush around and burn down the Hasanas in the commercial hubs that are next to each other. And the German player plans out their cities so that it makes like a diamond of like the two commercial hubs and the two Hasanas, right? Like, it would be very cool if that happened as the difficulty went up instead of these buffs. You know, maybe on Prince difficulty, like the AI now on Prince difficulty is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. But let's say, when you put it to, um, let's just say six, Emperor, right? The AI is not 100% optimized, but more optimized. Then when you put it to Deity, here's what I think would be nice. If you put it to Deity, there's like a one or 2% unoptimization, but 98 to 99% of a civilization's civilization is optimized to not only just it's, it knows what victory it wants. It knows when to change if it really needs to. If it really, really needs to, it's gonna use all of its strengths. And it knows about, it knows all the buffs of all the civilizations. And it's trying to also plan out when they're gonna do it, trying to figure out what the other civilizations have. But I think that that AI explaining all of that sounds ridiculously complicated to me. It really does. In my brain, it sounds so complicated. I don't even know if it's possible to not only make that kind of AI, but also have it be able to run effectively on a computer. Because this this game, okay, I have a... This computer's got an Intel i7, um, the one that's a 2.6 gigahertz, and it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. When I run Civ 6 on a low graphics setting at... 60 FPS, it takes up like 60% of my GPU and 50% of my memory and whatever whatever the other one is, like processing. It takes up half of that just to run the game um, like an eight player multiplayer, an eight player map with one other person. So that puts it into perspective how much computing power this game already uses. So I think maybe in the next few years, maybe like 10, 20 years, we'll get to the point where computers can actually run this kind of stuff. But, you know, with game trends, how pe sometimes kind of graphics are sometimes overvalued over other things and stuff like that, keeping up with the trends. I, I understand, like, I know the AI is broken. We all understand the AI is broken. But, I mean... I feel bad for the devs because it just seems like the AI is broken because it's limited by technology. Plus, not only that, but some of us have experience over multiple Civ games. Like, so we understand, like, we come into a new Civ game, we learn it fast. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. What would you do to fix the AI in Civilization VI? That'd be an interesting discussion. I'm, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer, that's it for this video. Man, I just went on the big AI rant. It's interesting. I just, I'm pretty sure it's because of computational power and accessibility. Because not, I mean, in most computers nowadays, the eight gigabyte RAM ones. That's like the low end. I'm gonna do that in quotation marks. Gaming PC. So I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at it again. So I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post of whatever I decide to make.